two fours here. You never guess what's just happened to me. I've only got myself bleeding band off all of your majesty's bleeding coastline. Yes, I have. Three and a half thousand or whatever it is, miles of coastline around the UK. Yes, your old Gert's band off it. Yeah, well, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Because I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, how did you get yourself banned off Her Majesty's bleeding beaches and Gertie Road? Well, I'll tell you exactly what bloody happened. It was me being me. It was me being my kind, normal, nice, helpful self. There I was on the beach. Oh, I was getting a few waves in. I was. Yes, I was. I thought I'd do a bit of boogie boarding. Yes, I did. So so anyway, there I was on the beach and I see a chap in the distance with my sleepy eye and I see the poor old mate struggling. He was struggling, he was. He was only a young slip of the thing. I mean, he must have been, what, probably about 50 or something, I don't know. Anyway, there he was, he had his white stick, he had his towel and he was struggling with his bleeding suntan lotion. So I got myself across to him and I said to him, I said, excuse me, uh, do you mind or would you like me to help you put some suntan lotion on you, sir? He said, well, he said, I said, no, listen, I said to him, listen, it doesn't matter. It, it's no, it's no problem. I don't mind helping you. So I started rubbing some suntan lotion on him and one thing and another. And I said to him, I said, well, you're going to have to move your bleeding towel because, well, I can't get all the lotion on you. Anyway, next thing you know, down the beach came three of them bleeding, what do you call them? I don't know what you call them in America and Australia, but in Britain they're called bleeding plastic policemen. You know, those PCOs that go around giving you banning orders and fines and one thing and another. They've come blobbing down the beach. They're probably just bloody jealous because I weren't rubbing bloody suntan lotion in their fat blubber. Anyway, well, they've come down the beach, they said, oh, they said, Mrs. Gertie Rude, that's it. You're going to have to be banned off the beaches because this is lewd behaviour. One thing and a bleed another. I said, what do you mean lewd bleeding behaviour? I'm just helping him rub a bit of bleeding suntan lotion in. I said, you can see, it's not his fault, he can't see. He said, he's got a white bleeding stick. They said to me, they said, Gertie, they said, that ain't a stick. And there's families on the bloody beach. And they've all been ringing up and bloody, and bloody complaining about you. And a public order disgrace you're making of yourself. So that's me banned off the bloody beaches. Now, I'll tell you what, they're bloody lucky I even went back there. Because last time I was down there, I got myself down the beach and I was, well, I was having a nice little swim around the pier like you do, you know, bobbing around in the water and one thing or another. And I see all these bleeding boats come up and everything. And then there were some helicopters flying overhead. I thought, what's bloody going on here? So I'm splashing around because I, I always wear my strong bloomers. You know, because they're a bit of a buoyancy aid. I mean, push comes to shove, you know, float me back in and that. So there I was. I thought, what's going on? And I swear somebody had a bloody harpoon. Some of those bleeding boats, they were like that. It looked like they had a bloody harpoon. Either that or bleeding rifle. I don't know what it was. Anyway, I thought, right, I, was, I thought to myself, I'm bloody out of here. I'm not hanging around floating about in the bleeding sea like this because something's adrift here. Something's bloody going on. What's happening? So anyway, I got myself out of the water, dried myself down, got myself home. A bit while later, I looked on my iPad. Apparently, apparently, now don't quote me on it because it's just what I heard on my iPad. But apparently they'd spotted a school of whales off of the pier down there in your Easter Bourne, in your Sussex, in the United Kingdom. So it's just as well I got out of the bloody water really, wasn't it, food two furs? Yes, it bloody well was. So there you go. That's me banned off the bleeding beaches now. I mean, what next, eh? Oh, well, never mind. Bye, bye.